हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू साइंस एजुकेशन टू लर्न वन मोर न्यू ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रेशर मेजरमेंट डिवाइसेस सो फ्रेंड्स प्रेशर मेजरमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक मेजरिंग स्टीम प्रेशर कमिंग फ्रॉम बॉयलर और इन ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड्स इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट so as to avoid any leakages and explosions also it is not only required in industries but in our day to day life as well like we need to closely monitor the pressure in our car tire or gas field in our car as a fuel so let's get started with the today's tutorial and let us see what are the topics we are going to learn today so the first one is what is pressure and its units in brief we are only going to learn this topic in brief but if you want to learn this topic in detail then you can go through my other video tutorial uploaded here which is mainly created for what is static pressure in detail then we are going to see the second topic that is pressure measurement and we are going to see few terms related to pressure measurement then comes pressure transducers and the last we are going to see few pressure measurement devices in detail about how they work what is working principle behind so what is pressure in simple words it is the force acting per unit area it says that it is the amount of force which acts on unit area and what are the units of pressure measurement so the standard unit for pressure me- is pascal which is newton per meter square there are few more units of pressure used commonly which is bar and psi which means pound per square inch So friends before moving to the actual pressure me- measurement devices let us first understand few topic So the first one is pressure measurement is basically divided into two types that is static and dynamic When pressure source is constant that is air pressure in our car tire or a balloon filled with air this type falls under static pressure but when we are measuring fluid pressure in which fluid is not static but it is moving then it is called as dynamic measuring pressure of gas pipeline or water pipeline are the examples of dynamic pressure measurement next term to understand is that all pressure measured is a relative term depending upon which major pressure is divided into three types that is absolute pressure gauge pressure and differential pressure so when pressure is measured relative to the zero or a perfect vacuum it is known as absolute pressure when we measure a pressure relative to the atmospheric pressure it is called as gauge pressure and when we measure the pressure difference between two points then it is called as differential pressure pressure transducer it is a device that converts one form of energy into other form so we can use this device for pressure measurement since it converts one form of energy into other we can use this to convert pressure energy into mechanical or electrical signals and these signals can be measured so depending upon the output signal these transducers are divided into two types first one is mechanical and second is electrical few examples of mechanical transducers are burden tube or bellows and in electrical transducers 
pressure energy is converted into electrical signals and few examples of electrical transducers are strain gauge capacitance gauge or piezoelectric gauge so let's see how burden tube gauge works so burden tube is basically a mechanical pressure measuring instrument and thus it operates without any electrical power burden tubes are radially formed radially formed tubes with an oval cross section the pressure of the measuring medium acts on the inside of the tube and produces a motion in the non clamped end of the tube this motion is the measure of pressure and it is indicated by the movement of needle next device is manometer or youtube manometer so in manometer it is the device in which column of suitable liquid are used to measure the difference in pressure between two points or between a certain point and the atmosphere one end of manometer is connected to a pipe or a container having a fluid which whose pressure is to be measured while the other end is open to the atmosphere the lower part of u tube contains a liquid which is immiscible with the fluid of which we are measuring the pressure and it is of greater density than that of the liquid this fluid is called as manometric fluid manometer basically works on hydrostatic law that is hydrostatic pressure exerted by a liquid column in manometer unknown pressure is determined by balancing it against some known pressure or vacuum now let us see few of the electrical pressure transducer so the strain gauge if a metal piece is subjected to a tensile stress the metal length will increase and thus will increase the electrical resistance of the material this principle is used in pressure measuring devices the devices are designed in such a way that on one side of electric elastic membrane these thin wires of of strain gauge are attached and from on the other side unknown pressure which we are going to measure is allowed to act due to this unknown pressure elastic membrane gets deflected and it and gets stretched the strain gauge which eventually changes the resistance of strain gauge sorry so when elastic membrane gets stretched it eventually stretches the strain gauge or thin wires which are which are attached on the other side of elastic membrane and due to this stretching or strain in uh, wires the resistance of the strain gauge gets changed and this resistance is proportional to the pressure acting on the elastic membrane so in this way we can measure the pressure using strain gauge next one is capacitance transducer the capacitive transducer is nothing but the capacitor with variable capacitance the capacitive transducer comprises of two parallel metal plates that are separated by the material like air and when the distance changes the capacitance also changes now this gauge is designed in such a way that when unknown pressure is applied the distance between two plates varies and eventually the capacitance as well and by measuring these changes in capacitance we can measure the pressure 
Now the last type of electrical transducer that is piezoelectric transducer. Piezoelectric device takes advantage of electrical properties of crystals such as quartz. These crystals generate an electrical charge when they are strained. So these crystals are arranged in one conducting element and when pressure to be measured is allowed to strain this conducting element some charge gets generated in conducting element and this charge which is generated is proportional to the strain which is uh, occurred due to the applied pressure so in this way we can measure the pressure using piezoelectric devices so friends this is this was all about the pressure measurement and i hope you have understood the topic well so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such tutorial and if you are having any doubts please comment below thank you for watching